curiosity and curiosity and it's you know it's really something special and I'm very very grateful thank you for having us <laughs> oh good I'm glad this one's next I wanted to do this one next <laughs> too personally I think we could probably all be a little better than we are and I don't want you to beat yourself up because it. it's just sort of a mad dash to stay just this good isn't it? Isn't it? are you drinking? just water yes life giving water the original baby do we have any water signs in the room? Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces hey oh wait when's your birthday? March 20th is coming up Birthday. Wow. I swear to God, there's like a show planned, but now that everyone's here, I'm just like, I just want to get to know everybody. How you doing? What's going on? Um, oh my God, Yen Cat! Yes. Give it up for Yen Cat! Yum, yum. Fabulous. I really like, and never mind, I'll see you this for me. That doesn't need to be for you. I can keep some things to myself. Can you? Can you? We'll believe you when you see it, Daphne. Daphne, that's what they all say about her. They say, Daphne, you're such a nice girl, you're just so quiet. <laughs> just such a delicate little wallflower. But I find, and I bet a lot of you can relate to this, that like kind of most of what you have to do is just walk around and smile. You just fall into place from there. Especially if you um, only smile and show a lot of skin. And really hot. Yeah, and, and if you're very, very hot. And here's the secret to being very, very hot, is believing that you're very, very hot. And to that, um, here's to you, and here's to your hearts, and here's to us, of whom we are part to um, you and to me and to love and to sin and to vodka, to whiskey, tequila and gin and to making bad choices and not backing out and to drinking our drinks but to not blacking out. Yeah! 
Peter. Don't say I never gave you nothing. I guess I've never been the high fashion kind. But Mother Nature gave me a good design. Wherever I go, I know I'll be in style. If I just wear my smile. A party time friend has asked me over for tea. It's not the style of clothes that they want to see. The way I look just drives them wild. If I just wear Smile. If my fella's in a hurry, he'll never have to worry. He knows that I'm a natural girl. I never worry if I'm showing. With all that I've been going, I just wash my face. Forget about girls. Society girls may never think I'm in. But I've been a few places that they never been. Like Joko, it never takes more than a little while. When I just wear my smile. So normally, um, when I do this in stinky gross bars, this is where I turn this into a burlesque number, where I get entirely nude. But I was told, no, I was told on this cruise to draw the line at pasties, but I ran out of fashion tape today. So just leave it to the imagination. Nothing else. Oh, John Shelton, I love working with you. I love you, Snarkus. Oh, Champlin Ever Cramps. What would I do without you? Champlin Ever Cramps. Yeah, that was a fun one. <laughs> yeah. Wait, oh my god. Remember you, that. That was a Mama Cass number. Give it up for Mama Cass. Mom's in the pump. Oh, Mama Cass. I totally didn't. And this is not originally a Mama Cass number, but this is a Mama Cass number. Yeah, big time. I totally didn't even put together that we put two Mama Cass numbers to right, right, right back to right back to back to back. Mama Cass, 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 Mama Cass. Should we swing it? I think we should swing it. Will you guys be mad at me? <laughs> Are we fighting? I hate when we fight. <laughs> you guys, still, would you still love me if I was a trans worm? <laughs> Shining bright above you Night breezes seem to whisper I love you Birds singing in the sycamore trees Dream a little dream of me Say 99 and kiss me Just hold me tight and tell me you'll miss me While I'm alone and blue as can be Since JFK. <laughs> I 
love this beer. This is my travel beer. We were texting as we were both in in cars to the airport, and he was just like, "Yeah, I just can't wait to get through security and get a Michelob Ultra." Yeah, and then we sit, we sit down and we find that what was her name? Was it was it Trish? Was Trish the bartender's name? Chris? Donna. Donna. Was it Donna? I think. It wasn't Donna. I'm lying. I would remember Donna because my first friend growing up was Adriana Donna Villacari and her mother's name was Donna, her father's name was Glenn, her brother's name was Anthony. He was in the name Cash Cast. Adriana was my first name. Aj, Rihanna Donna Villacari. I would remember Adonna. I never forget Adonna. Yeah, that's your brain. Yeah. <laughs> I grew up in New Jersey. <laughs> Wait, that's never the response to that. <laughs> It's normally God. It's normally like I grew up in New Jersey. Oh. We thought we smelled something. Um, no, but we were there and we decided like we're flying. Let's be let, let's be bloody Mary girls. Bloody and we Mary. sit down and we're like, no, maybe I'm gonna strong. We're gonna have a really good time. And we sit down and we're drinking. <laughs> And James is like, ah, oh, this is so nice, we get to relax. And I'm like, yeah, we have 15 minutes, and the flight leaves at 1.30. And he was like, Daphne, it is 1.22. <laughs> it's been boarding. It's been boarding, and we're ordering Naked Chat with Donna about how I really like her hepatite bracelet. <laughs> so we slug these Bloody Marys. Oh god. Yeah, just like oh, just god. spicy booze. Just chugging spicy booze with pickles. <laughs> just, <laughs> um. <laughs> All aboard the IBS plane. <laughs> All aboard. Oh, god. <laughs> and then the fucked up part was we ordered another double bloody Mary each yeah. on the flight. What's wrong with us? I mean there's a word for it, but as soon as you say it, it's real. <laughs> Right now, she just likes to have fun. <laughs> right now, she's just a fun girl. It's a fun girl, likes to have a good time and talk a lot. <laughs> and I do talk quite a bit. And I'm, um, I hope you guys will forgive me for that. <laughs> because I promise that it's all aiming towards something that I frame to myself as some uh, self-improvement. <laughs> Being a good person. It's um, an overwhelming thing, and, and was anyone kind enough to catch our show on the main stage? Uh, thank you for being here. We were um, we were all excited, and you guys were wonderful, and we feel very good this week. But this was actually in our set, and we cut a lot out of that set. So this is one of our originals. <laughs> She doesn't have much to say. <laughs> Nowadays, I'm thinking about how I can recalibrate approaches to my life and all the tools I use to navigate the process of allowing all myself to start to integrate. I'm married to myself, so we kind of got to consummate. For me, that starts with holding space to self-interrogate and hold myself accountable, but not begin to flagellate. It's one thing to critique. It's another to eviscerate. You gotta find the line. You gotta bless the girl and keep the game. Like when I think about the plastic that I'm using and the hurricanes and climate change and time that we're all losing, and I start to drown in guilt about the planet we're abusing. Is that really being fair? Is the blame for climate change really mine alone to bear? And not the hunter corporations that are ruining the air? Maybe going after them would be a better way to care. And I don't know about you, but that sounds like growth to me. Like I'm following through on a sacred oath to be. More compassionate and logical it can be both if we can afford ourselves just a little bit of patience. Funny how we use the word afford, like our patience isn't something we can give them our accord. Like with generosity of spirit is a thing we have to hoard. Well, I literally call the guy a paper and my lord. But that's a relic from our property was futile, even hoping for a better life or property was futile. But is how we do it now any less innate or brutal? Honestly, can we just throw away the whole caboodle? But throwing it away isn't helping anyone. That really only indicates a tendency to run, plus redesigning ways of life could be kind of fun, but it's easy to imagine and it's hard to get it done. Since clearly all the structures of humanity are frangible, what if we recenter and remember that we're animals? The global is unwieldy, but the personal is manageable. So I'm gonna focus, I'll start with something tangible. So I'm going to engage within my sphere and operate on hope instead of out of fear and build community instead of bask in trans white tears and participate in networks of nurture. But maybe I'm just being an emotional cancerian. Maybe compensating for being non-ovarian. Like a really hot and sweet but really under sex 
ex-librarian. <laughs> She's just doing her best, and her best has taken her exactly this far. You better do it always. You better do it, you better do it. 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 You better Unless you want to lactate when you just surprise James on the balcony and like, ah and um, I, you know, sort of smashed my boob against the wall, and he was like, Daphne, what is happening? Are you all right? And um, no, are you all right? I, and I looked down and I was like, wow. What? <laughs> yeah, I suppose you could say mother was mothering. <laughs> Um, so, here's to anybody lactating, <laughs> anybody who has lactated, anybody who would one day hope to lactate, you can do it too with seven plus years of hormone replacement therapy, and um, a lot of booze on a boat, <laughs> and a wang wang in one of those old fashions from the room fridges. <laughs> And, um, and a good, dirty steel wall to smash your tit against. So Can you go back to one? Can you go back to one, please? The one? Can you put, it's in one. The downbeat or the harmony? The harmony, darling, I want the tonic! Give me the tonic! Here you go! Numbers mean many different things in music, then. Numbers do mean many different things in music. There's Roman numerals, and then there's downbeats, and a one! And a one! No, stop it, it's in one! <laughs> um, I'm a math tutor, I'm a, I'm a math and physics tutor. <laughs> and I do Latin as well, but the kids are learning that increasingly less frequently, so I don't get to teach that as much as I would like to. Um, I'm on, I'm working, I can stand up. <laughs> Um, I just, I'm just so cozy with you guys is all. You just make me feel so safe. And you know what? Maybe I do want to sit down with you. What are you doing? I'm in solidarity with you. Aww. You're doing a squat too. That's going to burn real quick. Yes. Yes. This sucks. Lift your, lift your toes and put the weight in your heels. Toes up, heels down. In the glutes, darling. In the glutes. Put the weight. Knees. Knees toward, knees towards the second and third toe. Knees towards the second and third toe. Up, 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 up. Um, um. If I want are you actually doing the song? Is it in the right key? Yeah, 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 that's it. Yeah. What's my note? If I want. <laughs> if I want. If I was a dinosaur, I'd be a damnosaurus. Yes. And if I knew a million English words, I'd have my own always thesaurus. And if I was born in the merry month of May, then I would be a Taurus. And if I had a little extra time on my hands, then I'd surely jump a chorus, but it dum dum. And if you were a philosophy, you'd be a neat extensionalism. And if people spoke using quotes of you, they would use a Nietzscheisms. And if there was a religion of you, then your church might have a schism. There'd be a Neatish and a Newish and a Nishin and a Nudist and a Nuslam, but I think they would all still get along and ultimately find the ways that they can participate in fighting towards our collective liberation. <laughs> If you were a big, big city, then you'd be, what's your name? Andrea. Andreanopolis. <laughs> and if, um, if you had a really bad disease, then we might call it Andreaitis. <laughs> and uh, if you happen to get 
get that disease that I wouldn't know how to treat you. But I think that the main symptoms would be nice teeth and nice cheekbones and really well moisturized hair and pretty little beauty. I'm not done pretty little beauty marks and a really symmetrical facial feature and just a wonderful, terribly pleasant energy. Where are you from? Kansas. Give it up for Kansas. Pneumonia, ba -da -da. And if I were a dinosaur, I'd be a Daphnosaurus. And if I knew a million English words, I'd have my own always thesaurus. And if I was born in the merry month of May, then I would be a Taurus. time on my hands that I surely join a chorus early dum 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 Does that start on one? <laughs> no what it is I switch octaves in that is what is what happens. They go back and forth. Yeah. Do you think I should find the heaviest door and slam my head in it? Jesus that... Christ. Yeah, no, you're right. That's not what I should do, because we're enjoying ourselves. It's a good time. It's a good time. Oh, and you know what, James? This is what I love about you, is you always ground me, always bring me back. Give it up for the beautiful magic that is this man's presence. Cheers, y'all. This is what I really like. It feels like a little New York love song. It, it, oh, a little Velvet nice. Underground moment, a little... Little uh, Warhol machine fantasy. You know? any, any Warhol fans in the room? Oh, the snap train. The snap train. Proper snap train. I'll be the viewer. Reflect what you are. In case you don't know, I'll be the wind, the rain, and the sunset, the light at your door to show that you're home. When you think the night has seen your mind That inside it twisted and unkind Let me stand to show that you are blind Please put down your hands Cause I see Song. He got bits. You can do bits. 
Eat your bits till the cows come home. And then you can just have a nice song. You have a nice song. You, were, you just get me every time I see you. I need to stop. I can't handle it. Um, you guys are like a mirror. I feel like this is such like a lovely little... Everybody sort of recognizes and amplifies the weirdness, love, and light in each other on this cruise. That's a really... It's a really deeply special experience, honestly. And um, I feel very grateful to be a part of it. I feel like I kind of just stumbled upon one of the most magical little communities on Earth. <laughs> and not that either of us have ever questioned that we're very, very nerdy. Um, but it's nice to, uh, it's, it's nice to put any doubt to rest. Um, and yes, I'm grateful for this community. I was just, I was just talking to Josh over there that it's gonna be so lovely to like, after the cruise is done, it feels like now, after the fact, there's like a whole network of community to tap into outside of the cruise. And that's really, really special. I feel like, um, oh, see, I'm learning. You gotta go low over here, Jeff. You gotta go low, baby doll. Um, I, I, I deeply value community. I feel like it's a queer thing. I feel like it's a weird person thing. I feel like community is kind of where we find ourselves when um, the other structures that are meant to include us don't. And we find the other people who aren't included in those structures and we build it and we keep each other safe and we take care of each other. And, um, And this is a very sweet song that James and I have been performing for a few years by an artist. Um, it was written by Lindy Ortega, and then it was covered by Shamir. And then James and I have been covering it for a while. We would do it at Club Coming. And then we actually we actually performed it at um, at the Met, at the Metropolitan Museum of Art once. And um, it's, um, I think it's just a little anthem to given given love. Yeah. yeah, giving love where it's not given enough. Love never came easily to me. There were no fish swimming in my sea. And I resigned myself to the fact that I would always love, never to be loved back, but that's okay. I know some the day when the sun has set.
was nice. That was nice. Um, if anyone wants to think of, um, you know, tangible steps um, toward, that they can take towards um, loving those who have lived and died alone. Um, New York just lost a real icon recently. Um, her name was Cecilia Gentili. And um, she was one of the most fearsome um, activists and artists and writers, actors, um, creators, models, and she was responsible for setting up a lot of the trans healthcare infrastructure in New York. She, yeah, she set up the program um, at Apogee Community Health Center, that is actually where I received my um, trans-related medical care. And um, a few weeks ago, maybe almost a month ago at this point, more than a month ago, um, we just lost Cecilia. And um, it was a big loss and it hurts. And um, she kind of is like a beacon and a shining example of like what dedicating yourself towards everybody's collective liberation can look like. And um, there's the Cecilia Gentili a Legacy Fund um, that is kind of, you know, it's been established as now just like a standing thing that's going to house um, homeless trans youth and provide medical care for trans people, provide relief for sex workers, provide resources for immigrants. Those were Cecilia's big three. Trans rights, sex worker rights, and immigrant rights. And she has left behind a stunning example for us. But I should get off my soapbox because I'm just a hot idiot. <laughs> and um, although I can certainly run my mouth convincingly, the ultimate truth of it all is just that, um... sweet memory, get a good shot, as it crosses my mind, I don't know what I'm doing, more than half of the time, I don't know what I'm doing, more than half of the time, James Shepard everybody. choices now that I we, have yeah, we iPad. Really, oh my, James, for years, you pick one while I tell them about your 
Sure. Lovely, <laughs> lovely quirks. James, for years, has refused to get an iPad. He has always schlepped around this, like, giant three-ring binder of, like, loose sheets of music. Because he's just like, I, I don't trust it. What if it runs out? What if it runs out of battery, Daph? What, and then what? We just don't do the show? A full rainforest of music. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So. And just this year, um, we we both uh, let go of things that need to be let go of oh. and um, embrace. I mean, I haven't. I'm hoarding. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I have so much stuff. I needed to get rid of stuff. I mean, you gotta what? see all the clothes. It's a lot. You gotta see all the clothes. You've seen a good amount of them this week. Also, that... yeah, make some make some noise for this number. <laughs> What, oh. if I just, what if I just throw this at you? Yes! Wait, okay, before I do it. <laughs> Does anyone, um, okay, so, you know what? Some things don't need a preface. You're right, sorry, James, I should have trusted you. Go! She was working at a noodle shop at Astor Place So when the owner kicked her out for being a big disgrace <gasps> What was she gonna do? Where was she gonna go? She was out on her fanny to her good friend's door. She had started as a drag queen, but turned out to be more. She got soft, she got moaned, she got moaned. That's how she became a tranny. Who would have guessed that the girl we described was just exactly what a doctor prescribed. Now the girls are honestly gagging. Watch out, baby. And the tail's perpetually wagging. She's the lady you call when you want shows or also help with math. The jittery girl from Jersey, the tranny named Daph. Everybody. It was right there. It was right there, and somebody had to write it. <laughs> it was necessary. I love Fran. I love the nanny. It's an excellent show. And Hampton Calloway would be proud. And Hampton Calloway. I don't know if she would. <laughs> but, but she, um. You think so? Yeah. I hope so. I'd like to think she would. Oh my god, you're so. <laughs> or, or. Oh, okay. Yeah, does anyone want to hear just a really strange song? Oh, what time is it? What time is it? 10.27, I have an iPad. 10.27, you have an iPad. Yeah. Have an iPad. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'm going to make this a choose-your-own-adventure. Does anyone want a weird share deep cut off of Dark Lady? Yeah. Does anyone want a filthy, filthy romantic piece? Yeah. Share deep cut? Filth. Something right in the middle. Something right in the middle. Alright, a filthy share deep cut. Um, uh, honestly, no, we, we can't, we couldn't, we couldn't. I kind of just want to throw them your verse though. You know, fine, I'll do it, I'll do it, I'll do it. Yeah. Kiss me. words in that song. Yeah, it's ridiculous. Fireflies dance, silver moon spark. And it's it's so pretty, though. It's so sweet. Don't you think, James? You, you, you think it's pretty? I think it's really sweet and pretty. What do you think? It's all right. It's not like, it's not like I don't know, the kind of pretty weekends I have in New York. Well, what kind of pretty weekends do you have in New York, James? <laughs> Fist me. Sweet, sweet ass. Swing, swing this fucking sling. You'll wear those rings and I'll go to the mess. Oh, miss me. Be need the milky metal. Meet me. And I will beg for more. Lift your clenching hand. Strike up this man and make the fireflies dance. Silver moon sparkling. So fist me. things that are happening in this 
<laughs> we get to the first chorus, and I'm like, we got it, James. Go to the next one. But they're pretty. Give it up for the talent of this man. And by talent, I mean innate ability to take five fingers. <laughs> I figured this down. <laughs> if you can reach my heart, you can have it. Uh, <laughs> that's exactly the sound that it makes. <laughs> my sigmoid is a bass. <laughs> that was the O line. That was the one that went too far. <laughs> Not six hands, none the richer. That was good. That was a good one. I like it. Yeah. Wait, six hands, none the clincher? I don't know. We'll workshop it. We'll workshop it. We're figuring it out. And see you next year? Yeah! You're doing a lot of writing on this cruise, and, uh, you know, oh, yeah. you're, you, you, have a, you have another verse of this we weren't able to touch. Yeah, it so um, it turns out that when they're like, Daphne, do a 30 minute set to open for Rachel Bloom, it turns out I don't have time for a reprise. <laughs> um, but I want to do it now. Yeah! This is um, from the night. This is a, our riff on the 1998 version of Cinderella with Whitney and Brandy. Yeah! But it's about when you expand past just the trans experience and start to uh, lift it towards the general human experience that we're all living under in 2024. social cues to reduce people to things we understand but once you learn how to manipulate these you'll cultivate your multiple means you're passable so milk that shit for all you can whether you're trashable or so high classable or even laughable or always daffable at every decibel you'll still be yesable you're passable It's all up for consumption, all our singing, all our baggage. Up for grabs by capitalistic forces. Our identities are one of our main income sources. We're passable. You might think that we're just zanies or fools, but we're living by these one golden rules. It's astounding that we still have to say. Just be compassionate to everyone else and stop just focusing on yourselves. We're passable, so everybody shout. That's good fun. That's good clean fun, is what I say. Um, while we're going anthemic, that's, uh, you know, one of a, one of a flagship number that I do. One that I do very quickly. This is one of my favorite things that James does. So I'm going to sit next to one of you and watch it. Can we please show some love for the incomparable James Shepard? Hey, thanks. I can set up that. Hi, y'all. Hi. Hi. So I, uh, once upon a time, held a 4th of July gig in my hometown, and I would always get this song as a request, and I fucking hated singing it. <laughs> so I figured I'd write a parody of it that would really tickle my fancy and tickle June's fancy in New York, which, by the way, if you haven't been to New York City for World Pride, you must go! <laughs> because it's absolutely darling, and you might catch Daphne and I doing something real colorful down there. So, um... <laughs> also, Pride is always my birthday. I was born on June 26th, so it's... A, this is, I mean, right... Cause I'm right, a pride, baby. baby. <laughs> That's a new one. We, got we right should write that. that. Yeah. Um, yeah, so this is a parody of Lee Greenwood's Proud to be an American. Rated R. <laughs> if 
tomorrow all the things are gone that I worked for all my years and I had to start again with just my family of queers I thank my lucky stars to be living here today cause the rainbow stands for freedom and I'm very fucking gay You know who I would let rail me? Christopher Maloney Yeah, we got we got like uh, you know once upon a time six minutes. I think let's com. just go straight there. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So um, I feel like music is magic, and um, I feel like you can sing and manifest things with it. So I was singing these uh, this category of songs for years that I refer to as boob songs. Oh, that one. Oh. Uh, yeah. Fuck it. Let's do it. This is about trying to date as a woman of trans experience. <laughs> Kind of a wife Somewhere 
after midnight in my wildest fantasy. Somewhere just beyond my reach, there's someone reaching back for me. Wanna keep it public, don't want to stay discreet. It's gonna take a super them who's not not into feet. Just be a dyke. I need a she though. I'm holding out for a she though who will live in my home. And we'll go for long walks and we'll play with a dog. Maybe I honestly just want a dog. I need a Sheba. I need a Sheba Inu who can live in my home. You know, on second thought, that kind of sounds like a lot. Maybe it's best that I just stay alone. I need a me though. I just need me though here. I'm on the stage right now. And I've got to be sure. And it's got to be soon. And it's got to be loud. Oh, one and then um i love you guys thank you for having me on joko cruise daphne where can they find you where can they find the things that you do on the magical i'm so bad at this follow me on instagram <laughs> it's daphne yeah. underscore always and it's um js composer yep one time we did a show and they listed james's handle as js composter <laughs> Yeah. And I was like, wow, that musician is so green. <laughs> now I am. That's, uh, hey. I was about to just talk about the child who made it. Anyway, okay, so uh, we're gonna we're gonna keep it moving, and we're gonna go straight ahead to um, a boob songs manifesting boobs in this world. In the spirit of lactation. In the spirit of the. something soft. It isn't fat. Cause I was skinny and my chest was always flat. But now my nips are always sore. As if there's something there that wasn't there before. New and a bit alarming. Who'd have ever thought that this could be true? I'm no good a cow to milk when you could just milk me. Well, who'd have sunk? I should have sunk. Well, who'd have known? I'd never know that all it takes is just some spirit a lactone and estrogen. We'll wait and see if they grow more so that there's something there that wasn't there before. I'd say there's something there that wasn't there before. Please let there be something there that wasn't there before. Because you see everybody. Life so shitty to a woman with no titty. It wasn't fair. I had no pair of big bazaars. Despite all my deep and dark desires, double D's were for my sisters. 
sister and my mom. For years I've been lusting to be just a little busty, but I couldn't grow an ample fleshy meal. Just getting out of bed was such a hassle. Now check this fucking nipple. How's it size? It's fucking triple. See my breasts. See my breasts. See them jiggle out of my chest. Maybe I could feed a baby, but that wouldn't be the best. Cause with kids, I run great. Cause I just can't concentrate. Whether each should be acknowledged, I would rather be in bondage. Oh yeah, baby, fuck your slut. Wait, I didn't do my butt, and I would not want to go and make a mess. That'd be too much to clean up, so just keep that peen up to my breast. I'll keep them pressed. See my breast. See my breast. See them bounce when I digest It's been years and lots of tears And now we're finally not depressed Cause this spot feels like mine My tits are fucking fine Now my left's a little bigger I don't want to pull the trigger Verse by verse Pun by pun And our show is finally done So don't try to act like you are not impressed Because I'm cute and quirky And my tits are perky you guys and I'll see you there um, to worship proper. Thank you guys so much for having us. We love, love, love you.